Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Becca and um, today this is sort of my go-to makeup um, sort of what I do on an everyday if I'm sort of chilling but I need to pop out for whatever reason and um, if I want to make myself feel better don't wear don't tend to don't tend to wear makeup all the time um just because I'm lazy and really can't bother but if I do feel like I want to make myself feel a little bit better then this is what I will do so I hope you enjoy and let's get on with it okay right then so I have just um primed my skin and uh, using the revolution blur and prime primer or the um right and um, rubbed off it but that's what it was and um i've also used some of the glow drops just on the highest points of my face like my forehead my um cheekbones a little bit on my chin a little bit on my nose just to highlight just to give you a little bit more sort of glow um but because my skin is actually oily i don't want to put it all over my face because i don't want don't want that look um, right then, so next is foundation. So for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal um, Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade Natural Rose. So I'll just use one pump and I'll pump it onto the back of my hand. And then I will just dab it all over my face. Um, focusing on the parts that need covering the most. So for me, it's sort of down here on my cheeks um, because I do have a bit of um, scarring on my cheeks and then a bit on my nose. And then, yeah, that looks fine. <laughs> Didn't even look where I was putting that, I was using the viewfinder. And then I will just take my uh, Real Techniques sponge, which is damp, I dampened it in the, just before the video. And I will just blend that in. Whilst I'm blending it out, I do tend to sort of um, miss out my under eyes just because I find that if I do it under my under eyes as well, if I blend under my under eyes, it cakes a little bit more. So I just tend to leave my under eyes and then I go in with concealer after obviously my foundation and I do under my eyes then just because I don't I don't like the look it gives me. Um, it creases really easily under my on my on, under my eyes, I couldn't get my words out then. So I'll just blend that out like so. And then next I will use my Rimmel Lasting Perfection um, Concealer in the shade Ivory. So this is this is quite a bit lighter. It's not too much lighter. Um, I think obviously the different brands, but um, this is this is better for when I'm tanned, which I've only got a little tiny bit of tan left on trying to scrub it off this morning but I hate scrubbing my tan off. Does anybody else just find scrubbing tan off the most annoying job ever? I hate it. I I hate just scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and it doesn't come off and then it's patchy and it's oh it just annoys me. Um right so yeah like I say I don't put foundation under my eyes um I just put it uh, I just put concealer under my eyes um, so I will pop concealer under my eyes um, and blend that out and then I don't tend to put concealer on my face, I don't find that I need it. The foundation has uh, got high enough coverage for me not to um, use concealer on the rest of my face as well. Um, and again, I just don't like a cakey looking um, face, I prefer to make sure that it's um make sure it looks as natural as i can i don't like my face feeling really heavy um which is why this foundation is really good because it is really sort of light and um it doesn't feel like it's you've got makeup on do you know what i mean right then so next i will um powder my face so to powder i will use my that is filthy i <laughs> use my match my match perfection powder and um, this powder I've used it for absolute years I absolutely love this powder and um, it's it's just it's just good and then I'll go in with a big brush this is a spectrum 
brush, um, it's just a big powder brush, and I just go over my face just to get off, just to sort of set everything down. So that is that. So now I will move on to um, bronzer. So whilst my under eyes are sort of baking for a little bit, um, I will move on to bronzer. So I don't really have a bronzer that's my, my go-to bronzer. I, most of the time I'll either use um, this Smashbox palette, um, which is the Holidays Contour and Spotlight palette. Um, sometimes I'll use this, um, other times I'll use the Rachel Airy palette from Revolution, um, but Today I'm just going to use this because it's got a really big mirror in and my Rachel Lurie mirror is absolutely smashed and filthy and this one is not too bad. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> um, so, I'll use a, a sort of an angled brush for, um, from Spectrum and I like a bit of a shimmery bronzer on my forehead just because I like to sort of have a little bit of a glow. So, to you to do that, I will use... Um, usually this shade here um, and then I'll go in with like a tiny bit of this just to use on my forehead. Then I'll just go on to my cheekbones. So I think I'm going to go for a bit of brighter blush today. Um, so I've just got my Rachel Leary palette which is battered, like it's, it's the mirror's not even on it anymore, it is battered. but. Um, I'm going to use the middle shade here, which is called Rosé, and I will mix it a little bit with, per is it Perfect Peach? Yeah, Perfect Peach, even the writing is like rubbed off and everything. So this shade here, and a little bit of that, just give it a little bit of shimmer, because I'm sure you can all tell by now, I love a bit of shimmer. Um, so I'll just take a little bit, of, well no, quite a bit of the... Um, rosé shade, tap it off a little bit and then get a little bit of the um, Perfect Peach and then just on the apples of my cheeks and I like to bring it up slightly. Like so. Wow, well, that looks nice. So, I put a little bit too much on this side, so I'm just gonna get my powder brush and just go and blend it together a little bit more. That's better, isn't it? There we go. So obviously I've got powder under my eyes from when I um, baked a little bit, so that's just gonna come off. So next I'm going to um, Highlight. So I'm just taking, um, again, out the Rachel Leary palette, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go with Aphrodite, which is this one here, which I have actually hit pan on because it's amazing. I'm just using, I don't actually know what this, where this brush is from. I'm just going to put that um, where I placed the, um, the glow drops at the very start. So I'm just going to place that here. And that's that and then I will take um, a little bit more and I'll just sort of go around. I like to do my, my, my makeup with the light in front of me because I can sort of see where the light naturally hits my face. Um, so obviously I put it in the usual place um, but now I'm going to actually put it a little bit sort of above my eyebrows, the tiniest amount, you don't need loads of this and a little bit on my brow bone as well. So a little bit here here you'll see and then a little bit here and a little bit here just like that okay so next it's mascara so i'm going to just quickly pop some mascara on um off camera the mascara i use is the laurie oh 
that was close. The L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara. It's really good, <laughs> you'll see. Okay, so mascara's on. I don't actually know what's going on with my hair. Usually, this side looks better than this side, but today, this side's looking a bit better. Um, so yes, that is my mascara done. Um, now it's just time for lips, which usually, if it's sort of just a chill day, I don't really need to be wearing makeup for whatever reason. I'm just, I am just make myself feel better. That looks awful. That's better. <laughs> Um, I'll just pop a bit of lip balm on. Um, I like to wear a bit of um, tinted lip balm just because it makes my lips look a little bit juicier. Um, so this one is the um, Body Shop Born Lippy. I think it's raspberry. Yeah, raspberry flake scent. scent. So this is really nice actually. And that's my makeup done. So this is sort of like I said, something I would wear um if i was just sort of going just you know sort of not having a chill day but having like a just not really doing much want to make myself look a bit feel a bit better um this is what i will do um if say i'm going for lunch or whatever just just my sort of my go-to um look when i can be bothered <laughs> um so i hope you did enjoy and um, please don't forget to subscribe down below like and pop a little comment down below what is what are you sort of hoping for this year obviously it's been a bit of a bit of a weird one and um, so what are you sort of hoping for what are you wanting to sort of achieve this year and um, pop it down below and uh, we can have a little chat in the comments and um yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you again soon bye